Yes, sir. He wanted it, so he reached out and took it. Thou son of David. Thou son of David. Thou son of David. Tap your knees, you talk too much. Thou son of David. Be quiet. Thou son of David. I said, stop your knees. Thou son of David. Oh, hallelujah. He was reaching out because he knew his circumstances require a touch from Jesus. It doesn't matter what was happening around him. He knew that the situation requires a touch. Only 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 a touch. Your situation can only be returned by only a touch. And so they tell him to be quiet. Stop your noise. You're making too much noise. You're causing a racket. You're disturbing the neighbors. But little did they know that the son of Timaeus knew that his situation needed a direct Oh, Calaba, a direct injection from the holy needle of Christ. He said, I'm not going to be quiet. Jesus, Jesus. And then he said, Who is that calling me? He said, Don't worry. Oh, Timmy, you can stop nice now. He called it for you. Hallelujah. He said, Son of Timaeus. What do you want me to do? Don't stop calling him, Sister Roper. Don't stop calling him until he asks you, What do you want me to do? Leon, don't stop calling him. Hey, don't stop calling him. Don't stop calling him. Don't stop calling him. Until he asks you, what do you want me to do? Hallelujah. Don't stop calling him. Don't stop. All when it is 1159.99. Only one second left to 12 o'clock. Don't stop calling him. Because you might want him 11.59. But his time was 12. Hallelujah. But you stop calling at 11.59. Don't stop calling. Don't stop calling. Until he asks you. What? What do you want me to do? Don't stop calling. Because your time is when you want him. But when he turn up, he turn up on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He turn up just the right time. To make your tables say in front of your enemies. What a God. He didn't take you into the back room to make your table. He prepared your table. Hey, when you are walking, when the wolves have surround you in the valley of the shadow of death, glory to God. He said, Come, brother, I'm gonna spread your table. Hallelujah! Get the white cloth, get the dishes, get the food, let them look. He prepare your table in the presence of your enemies. And that's not enough. He take your head and he anoint you. Don't stop calling. Don't stop calling. Don't stop calling. Don't stop calling. Though the wolves have gathered, don't stop calling. That's when he's going to show up and show himself. That's when he's showing up. When the children of Israel have nowhere else to turn. Mountains on the right and left. Pharaoh behind. Red Sea in front. 
Where is your God? They are crying. Where is your God? <laughs> Where is your God? They are crying out. I've got you now. Where is your God? But God opened the way by the breath of his nostrils. Hallelujah. He make a way in the situation where there is no road in a situation. God don't need a bulldozer. He don't need heavy machinery. He don't need any tarmac or gravel. When he show up, water begin to say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ah, gosh. That is the God we serve. The natural elements begin to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Don't stop calling. Don't stop calling. He see the pillow wet at night. He see it. He saw it. He see it. He see the amount of prayers you are praying. He sees it. He sees it. But just as we did with the children of Israel to prove them. Hallelujah. He wants to see. Will you hang in there? Will you hang in there? Huh? When you're all alone, will, will, will you hang in there? When, when your children have says no, will, will, will you hang in there? When your family has walked away, will you hang in there? Will you? The trials of this road, the song says, will seem like nothing. When I get to the end of the way, Paul says, the things of this life is not worthy. It is not worthy to compare to what we shall receive over there. Just believe. Have faith. In Mark 11, from verse 12, hallelujah. Jesus was coming out of Bethany and he was hungry. And he saw a fig tree. Looks beautiful. It looks prosperous. Sometimes some of us only look good. Hey. Help me, Holy Ghost. We look good. The tree looks beautiful. The leaves were plenty. It was blushing and green. But when Jesus woke up to it, there was nothing in it. Hallelujah. Be careful if you're looking with your eyes. Check all of us. The eyes can only see to the end of the road. But the spiritual eyes say. You need to have on the spiritual goggles. Because what you're looking at only look good. It look good. The appearance is good. All well done up and suited and booted. But there is no fruit. The tree is empty. And Jesus turned up to this tree. He knew it wasn't the time. But guy, God man. But the tree's position was to bear fruit. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Jesus turned up. Hey. And he was hungry. And he looked at it. Be careful when Jesus comes to see you. Hey. When he turned up and see you. 
Be careful. Be careful. Because if you find that you're empty, oh, hallelujah. If you find there is nothing, if you find you are playing about, if you find you, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you find that you're only concerned about how green you look, woo! If you only find that all you're concerned about is your outward lookingness and there is no fruit, Jesus looked at the tree. You tree, in your season, looking like you're all of that. And a bag of chips. Hey, looking like you are everything. Hey, but when I look at you on closer inspection, you're empty. You're empty. You speak, but it's empty. You sing, but it's empty. You pray, but it's empty. You are only like a fret, fresh cut branch. You look good. A fresh cut branch. It started out looking lush and beautiful. It looks divine, the fresh cut branch. But Jesus says in 14 of John 15, I am the true vine. Every branch must wear, come out of me. Every branch must bear out of me. Some of us are only cut branches that we like to be beside, uh, but not in Jesus. Woo! We think if we just go to church and be in church, we are in church, but we are not in Jesus. Oh, glory to God. So we look good like a fresh cut branch. But the Bible lets me know in John 15, if the, the husband man realize that you only look good, and you have no fruit. It's pruning time. He's going to draw for his cutlass. Mm -hmm. It's pruning time. Because you look good. You're deceiving many. You're deceiving many with your good looks. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He's going to draw for his cutlass. Is that enough? Enough. Oh, glory to God. You are in here, but you're not in me. You like to be beside, but not in. Oh, glory to God. So he's going to cut. He's going to do some limbing up. He's going to prune. And Jesus said, he's going to chop it off. No good. Unless... If you want to sing, you must be connected. Say, Help me, Jesus. It's not about lip movement. It's not about tuning of a voice. No. Mm -mm. You got to be connected. My God, my God, my God. If you want to pray, share call of a seat you got to be connected. My God, my God, my God. If you want to preach, you got to be connected. If, whatever it is, got to be in the vine. Because when he come to check you out, when he come to check you out, just like when the devil turned up to check out Job. When he come to check you out. 
Is it just the looks? Is it just the appearance? Is it just a form of godliness? Denying the spirit thereof? Fourteen, fifteen of John. When the when Jesus turned up and he saw the tree, pretending to be a tree with fruit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pretending to be a tree with fruit. Everyone will spiritualize sing, oh. Oh, it's what a beautiful tree. What a beautiful tree, my God. Huh? Ah, what a beautiful tree. John. But when Jesus <laughs> have a close inspection and realize just like how the husbandman purged the branch, he cursed the tree and it died from its roots. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God. Stop pretending. Because when Jesus show up, oh, 15, I am the true vine. There's many vines out there. There's many vines. There's many vines. There's many. Many. There's loads. But I am the true vine. Hallelujah. I am the only vine that has a husband man who is God. Hallelujah. Every branch, everything that come out of me that bear it not fruit, my daddy will cut off and throw away. And every branch in me that is doing what it's supposed to do, watch this now, <laughs> though you couldn't sing, but because you are dwelling, Though you couldn't play. Hallelujah. Though you are dwelling. He purged you. So you can do it even better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. It's all about the anointing brothers and sisters. It's all about the anointing. The purging is the anointing. Whatever you do under the anointing. Hey, anointing, 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 anointing. It's all about the anointing. Jesus doesn't matter as long as the branch is bearing fruit. The father will purge the branch. You don't have to go to university. You don't have to go to any Bible school. The, oh, hallelujah. When God wants the work to be done. Hallelujah. He purged the branch. He purged the branch. That it may bring forth more fruit. He is concerned about accumulation. In every parable that he talks about, where it's money or growth, he is concerned about getting back more. It's all about the increase. My God, my God. When he gave them one, two, five talents, it was ah, he was back, he was livid. Because the one who get one didn't do anything there was no increase what 
whatever ministry that you are in, it's all about the increase. Hallelujah. But it can purge you to flourish in that ministry. I don't care if you're sweeping or hoovering the floor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he bear it. And he purgeth it. That it may bring forth more. More fruit. Now you are clean. Through the word. Which I speak unto you. Abide. This is it. Abide in me. And I in you. Why? Because you cannot. I cannot. Bear any fruit. Unless I am rooted. And grounded. In Jesus. It's not about my skill. Pastor. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not about my head gift or talent. It's not about how much I can read. It, it's not about me. My God. It's not about me. It has never been about me. You cannot, I cannot bear anything out of myself. Except I abide in the vine. Seven. Six. six. If a man abide not in me, Just like how we curse the fig tree and dried up by the roots. Oh my God. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And all that is useful for you and I is to be in fire to burn. No good. If you abide in me, and my words, whose words? Whose words? Not some prophetess, prophet, not some good storytellers, not motivational speakers, no manifesto of any party. My words, no internet gurus. Hallelujah. 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 And my words abide in you. Here is the punchline. Here is the punchline. You shall is a positive. You shall ask what you will. You shall ask what you. I, I, I'm not saying it's written in the book. You shall. Hold on. Let me look again. Let me look again. Oh, glory to God. If you stay in me. Walk, eat, sleep, drink. And, 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 and my words, that simply mean my commandments. Oh, glory to God. What I tell you to do, the lifestyle I tell you to live, not to be carnal. If my words, thank you Holy Ghost for bringing it back. My words stay in you. It says this. Let's read it together. You, I can't hear you. You shall ask what you will and it shall be done on
there's a reason. When this is done, he says, then my father is glorified. Hallelujah. My God. Now, watch this. I want to show you something here. Before him purge you, right? I'm prune you to bring more fruit. But now you are abiding in his word. So the father is so happy. You move from more to much. Woo! <laughs> oh, glory to God. More, is a, you can't say more, but much there is no number. Glory to God. You move from more to much. All that left now is most. Woo! Hallelujah. So shall you be my disciple. Only when we love one another. We come to church not to rub off badly against each other. No. That's not why we are here. We come to sharpen each other. Hallelujah. 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 I should be able to correct you in love. And I should be able to take the correction in love. Hallelujah. And not being carnal. I want to say this. Disagreement is not disloyalty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know if you get that. Disagreement is not disloyalty. Not because I disagree with you. It doesn't mean I am against you. Woo! To Kana, to Kana, to Carnality is destroying us, brethren. Carnality is destroying us. Our resting position is carnality. The Bible says, Whatsoever things. Help me, Pastor. Whatsoever things. My default position is to think good of my brethren. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. That should be my default position. Is to think good of my brothers and sisters. Hmm. Hallelujah. Sharpen, high and sharpen each other so each position each ministry can grow in grace can bring forth more fruit and then prune a little bit and bring forth more fruit so whatever ministry that every one of you sitting in front of me on online is in in the church it's time for an analysis to see if we are beside or in Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if there is no fruit. Then he will cut me down. He will curse me. And I will dry from the root. The time has come. The church is on a brink at the moment. Where the enemy is sifting. Oh, listen to me carefully. Ooh. He's seeking those on the peripheral to come to church with you. Glory to God. Because he knows that the church is on the brink to tear the devil's kingdom down. 
So he's seeking those whom he can devour. It's time. Let not the enemy have preeminence. His greatest weapon is this unity. He went in and he broke the unity between God and man from the beginning. And he's been doing it ever since. Wow! Ministers! Jesus! Ah. Let not the enemy so this unity and discard. Because then he could break what God has put in place. But I got news for him. The devil is a liar. Glory to God. He said I got a few inside this. There is a few who is watching. Who is seeing. Who got their spiritual glasses on. Hallelujah. So brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. As you hear. Make sure. That you and I. Brother Wayne. Brother Wayne. Brother Wayne. Make sure. Brother Wayne. That you are in. Not beside. Jesus. Because when he show up to do the inspection, I don't just want him to see me in my beautiful suit and tie. Hallelujah. No. That is not good enough. But the fruits must be there. Every one of you must be fruitful. Every single one of you must be fruitful. You better be fruitful because your life depends on it. Hallelujah. Your life depends on it. How do I know? He said if you're not fruitful, brothers and sisters, God bless you. God keep you. Take what is yours. Leave the other bits for somebody else. Oh, glory to God. And shelve for later. Oh, glory to God. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Reach out and touch the Lord. It's work time as he passed. We're going to work. Come on, me. Who will find is not too busy to hear your cry. He is passing by. Reach out and touch the Lord as He mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has He. Oh my God! Halt a call! Halt a call! Come, 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 come. I'm gonna pray for you, sir. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He's passing. He's passing by. Kashi.
return. Hallelujah. cry, oh, he is passing by the small man, money. 